What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Carmen Caught backing it up on rapper Big Boogie. Corey says he's done, die behind. Corey said he gonna die behind. Sure, whatever. Previously, I reported that Carmen may have herself a new man. Now she's been leaving comments underneath Big Boogie's music Instagram post, and he's been leaving hearts under her Instagram post as well. Now, not only were they liking it up on Instagram, Carmen was also spotted out in Oklahoma at his recent show. Now, things appear to be getting kind of serious between Carmen and Big Boogie. Uh-oh! Now, not only was she- Bitch, oh, Big Boogie. I thought it was Big Boogie, but Big Boogie, okay? She spotted out in the crowd of that show. She was also videoed turning up on him and twerking. Now, I can't put the whole video here on YouTube, but I will post it on Twitter. I will have that link below but let's just say Miss Carmen was putting it all on him. Now, of course, ah. you guys know Corey is stating that he is ready for that divorce and he's filed the papers, but he's still lurking. He I thought you were already divorced, sir. Goes on to Facebook and he posts that. That boy done lost his mind. He trying to die behind that dirty bit. I know you ain't talking about Big Boogie. Corey, no, 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 no. Listen, man down, stand down. Before you get put down, please, Corey, 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 you are not CMG, Corey, please <laughs> stand down. <laughs> Somebody tell him who going to tell him. That boy done lost his mind. He trying to die behind that dirty B. Then he states, you going to cheat too when you realize that B ain't worth ish. Then he also goes on to state. I know you peep she for the streets the way her head move, right? This nigga is the most bitter nigga I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. He said he was already divorced to her. What's going on? I mean, he already divorced her. listen he gonna get he gonna get <laughs> you know the biggest um the biggest i can't even say it because i don't even know how to say it because i don't want him to go through it Corey, stand down you can say whatever you want to the youtube niggas that's what they are you niggas on youtube he ain't he ain't that Corey. he not that him not he him he's he's one of them you might want to be a pedestrian in this situation Dead ass. oh his ass gonna be on world star okay so look i forgot to say i'm sorry the son at why you won't be with him i don't understand Straight up. 
you know, every time I end up talking about this situation, I sound very biased. I do. For so many reasons, though. And without telling my business. Because it ain't my business. It would be her business more so than my business. Because y'all know, I would just tell y'all my business. But I'm going to just say this. When the mama's out here having to do daddy shit, Cause no, women can't teach boys how to be men. There's no way in hell. It'll never happen. Uh, but when they got to handle business like a man, that's when y'all get disrespected. Like I've heard him complain a lot about what Carmen is doing and all of these things, but he has yet to take her to court and go get custody of those kids, which lets me know I could be wrong, but at least what I'm thinking is he don't want full custody because you can't handle full custody because he got money to go out of town. He got money to buy chains, and whatever he want. Right. Corey, I got, he is a, a never ending vault. He just got that. He got it. Right. And y'all know, I ain't no hater ball out. But my thing is, if you're going to ball out, why not ball out in court? Why not ball out for your custody? Why not ball out for them kids that you want so bad? Like, if I wanted my kids so bad, I would not tell y'all I would go do it. I would take her to court to get custody of my children. Simple and plain. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. But... Truth be told, you can't handle that full custody because you know damn well you want to actually be outside and do what it is that you want to do. So when the mama's got to get up, make sure these babies eat, make sure they go to school on time, make sure they close together. Um, and this is an everyday thing. And I, I don't know about Carmen, but I know in my household, uh, that's it got to happen. Um, She handled that. So I, I'm not saying daddies don't do that, but in his case, that's not what he doing and don't do that. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. I, I never understand it. Just like they won't ever understand it. When you pay attention to Mother's Day, you pay attention to Valentine's Day, you know, she be viral. Everybody, all the women and everything posting. Niggas got to post the girls, but on Father's Day, crickets <laughs> you know father's day it's not crickets i just feel like y'all pay attention to the wrong things because a lot of women out here going crazy for the fathers in their life for real i disagree it's crazy, right? it seemed like men are starting to switch the role like they they feel like women switch the role like women want to be men and shit but i think y'all want to be women sometimes like Y'all want what women supposed to get. And uh, don't get me wrong. I feel like men should definitely be treated better. But I feel like present men should be treated better. Not the ones that's clowning their baby mamas and wives on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know. It's just weird. Mobile, Alabama. Man, y'all city. feel bad for none of this shit because if he wanted them he would go get them he want to make that girl life a living hell because she not under his control anymore and uh that's just kind of that on that i uh hope he put his foot down and really like go get custody so he could really have them 
But just like he is complaining about not seeing them, he talking about he he got to put it on his schedule to go see his older son. I do not believe shit he say. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.